Well, I think one of the, the great things about this movie is one, John Bram was an athlete. And so sometimes the hardest uh, person to get to a church is a man. So just there's an instant appeal right there. This is a, a very successful athlete. Uh, my first impressions of Taming the Bull were, was wow. I, uh, I got to see some of my heroes that I grew up watching uh, testify to the transformation in uh, John's life. And to see, you know, the other athletes that were playing alongside him at that time and the Bob Greasy's and Jim Kicks and Larry Zonka's and so forth give their perspective on what he was like and then to see the turnaround in his life, it's like a modern day Saul to Paul where now he's going a completely different direction with the same kind of force and tenacity that he played football. It's just, it was incredible. Well, honestly, going in, I was a little skeptical. I've seen these, these types of films before and, and they always have a good message, but uh, this one was just unique. Uh, it was dynamically done. Uh, the story was amazing. First of all, watching this film, you are going to just enjoy watching uh, John's personality come out on film. You get to see the fun side of who he is, the intensity that he carries in his life, all the fun stories about his career in football, um, but you also are touched by what God did in his life. Um, I found myself, and I'm not a big emotional person, but I found myself crying at the end of this story because you, you see this man sharing what God has done in his life and how far God would go to reach a person. The timeline on it, an hour long, is a great, uh, makes it a great tool for us. Uh, I can see it being shown in both youth groups and in, uh, in the main worship time. We actually rented out a theater, uh, filled up an entire theater and told our people, invite people to come hear John's story and I was blown away, blown away by what I heard. Nationally with FCA, I see it as a, just a tremendous tool uh, to be able to take it and show it to sports teams uh, in huddle groups uh, uh, that we have all around the country with our FCA groups uh, on campuses uh, with individual teams. And I honestly believe that when a lost person who doesn't give much thought about Christ or the church sits and watches this documentary and sees the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ that would save a guy that nobody thought could ever be saved. I believe it's gonna have an impact in their lives. He really only had one message, and that message is a message of hope. And he wanted to make sure, hey, Jesus can change your life. If he can change mine, he can change yours.